Hello ship watchers, spotters, and just ship lovers in general. My name is Nigel, also known as a Lake Erie vlogger, and today I am not on Lake Erie. I'm bringing you somewhere special today to get you some good footage of ships. I have brought myself all the way over to Hamilton, Ontario. So this is Lake Ontario I'm on right now, and in there is the Billington Bay. Which is, we're going to go under the bridge, the Skyway Bridge, or the lift bridge itself. And in there, there's half a dozen ships in there right now. We'll have a little look around, I'll show you the ships, and we'll do a few ships in detail on a separate video, but I'll give you a nice little look around here with the layout of uh, Hamilton Harbour, and we'll see what we can see. And also while I'm here, I am expecting a pole steam vessel to make its way in, uh, probably about an hour or two away, so we've got plenty of time to get in here and check it out. So this is going to be a great video for you people that love the ships. I'm going to take you around the harbour, in the inlets, a little bits where most people can't usually get to very easily, and uh, we'll see what we can see, and we'll put a nice little video together. So join me. Let's head on into there. I'm going to find some ships. Since 1830, there has been five different movable bridges located at this site. The present bridge was opened in 1962. This structure originally had tracks for the Hamilton Northwestern Railway. They were removed back in 1982 when the roadway was widened to four lanes. The bridge has a vertical lift of 33.5 meters and has a maximum clearance for marine traffic of approximately 36.5 meters, which is 119.7 feet. All right, the ship in front of me is the Hinch Spirit, uh, part of the McKeel family. Let's have a quick look at this one. Which way is the sun? Okay, the sun's on the other side. Behind the cloud, mind you. <laughs> it's a shame I'm losing a bit of sun here. So here she is with a starboard anchor down, just waiting here uh, for something, I guess. I have no idea what she's waiting for, but... She's anchored, so I can get pretty close. See all the scuff marks all the way down her from the amount of time she's been through the locks. It's a weird scuff mark. It's like someone had a fit with a pet uh, with a brush. Oh, this one just has tug on it and not a T. Usually a shit where the tug will go uh, for a pressure point, they'll say T. They actually got the word tug on this one, which is basically what it means. She must be here for a while because all the blinds are closed on the deck. Hopefully we'll get to see this one go through the canal at some point. All right, let's go find another ship. There's a, one of the federal vessels is over there. And it looks like another salty over there too. So we've got a 
couple of ships up here. Um, Federal Caribou is the one I'm looking at right now. There's one beyond it. I don't know what it is. We'll check that out shortly. But let's go have a look at the Federal Caribou. in here, the, uh, the old World War II ship, I don't think I ever saw a service, he's actually here. Go a quick look at that, okay, quick look. This is HMC's Hader. She is a tribal class destroyer and she stirred with the Royal Canadian Navy from 1943 to 1963 and she participated in World Wars II and the Korean War. She is named after the Haida people. So it would have been vessels just like this one which were out there in the Atlantic fighting uh, World War II. HCMSC Haida? Haida. For many years she was in Toronto, but uh, about 15, 20 years ago they moved her down here to Hamilton. This is now her permanent home. Registered in the Marshall Islands, uh, Montreal-based company. Definitely unloading something here. Or oh, she finished unloading. She's starting to look pretty high up. So she may have just finished unloading. There's a T I was on about. On that uh, McKeel boat, it's actually said tug. So the T means for a tug point, for the pressure point. Got a lot of scars down the side from the uh, transiting through the uh, canals over the years.
crane in use, moving stuff into its hold. No idea what they're bringing in. So Barnacle is registered in Limassol. Limassol is Cyprus, by the way. I don't know where the letter is. I have to look that one up. For Noella G. What's she lifting in? It's like a steel roll. Rolls of steel to be processed over here. So the guy in the crane over there just waved. So two of our big cranes are in motion right now, uh, doing multiple lifts. Yeah, it looks like rolls of steel. Well, the steel factories are here, so I'm gonna presume it is steel that's coming off these uh, vessels. Wood uh, blocks. So both these vessels here will be salties. Uh, they'll probably, once, once they finish there, they'll probably head back up to St. Lawrence, out onto the Atlantic, and to wherever their next destination may be. This is a bit of a rust bucket. Holy moly. The algae at the bottom here, she's pretty high up in the water now. So she's pretty much empty. So Barnacle is definitely in a better state of condition than the one next to me. This one, this one's got a lot of scars all over. A lot of the rust on the hatches. Corrosion most likely caused by the sea, the salt water. A lot of corrosion on the uh, bridge and the housing quarters as well. So a Canadian Coast Guard vessel is having a retrofit of some type. She's in dry dock. And this is also where the um, Kewatin was uh, based here. Well, I won't say based, but she was here getting repairs done last year before she made her way up to Kingston. She was just literally there. <laughs> vessel uh, in Port Coburn going through uh, Lock 8, uh, St. Mary's Cement. Uh, it was just coming out underneath the bridge, the lift bridge there. We've got a nice shot of that. Now here's a good looking one. The ship is called Osagovo.
word you pronounce it? Federal Brewer? Brewer? Federal Brewer. Looks like she's taking on fuel right before she leaves. And finally, just over there, if we can quickly get it, will be the Captain Henry Jackman. She's here at Stelco Steel Factory. Um, we'll take another look at that later on. It's going to be a separate video altogether. So anyway, that was Hamilton. I have one more surprise for you. There's a pole steam coming in. We're going to get that. It'll be part of another video as well, but we'll put it a bit in this as a little teaser. So we'll go and wait for that. She should be here in the next 20 minutes. Coming into Hamilton just before pole steam's Gardner, is this McKeel's Florence Spirit. I believe Florence Spirit is the one that collided on the Welland Canal a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the one I'm really looking forward to now is uh, Grando. Granado, Grando. Oh, the one out there anyway, heading back in very short. It's heading in shortly. So we'll just wait for that and that video's done. And we'll make a feature length video on this one. behind me I managed to get down here before the ship does I want to try and get another camera set up before it comes through so I can just leave that recording while uh, I chase it a little bit so let's quickly go and get the GoPro set up and we can head on out and follow it in and she's just selling in from the Netherlands via Montreal she's 198 meters long 